digital purchase order. This is a quick introduction to how to amend a purchase order. This feature is quite important because no user in DPO should be able to open a PO and make direct adjustments without the prior consent of the approvers. Therefore, any changes within a PO need an amendment, which requires a new approval. Don't worry about the purchase order ID. Even if you amend a PO, the original purchase order ID will always remain the same. Before you get started, please make sure that you have permission to amend purchase orders. When you open a PO, you should see a plus sign in the upper right corner. If you don't see this button, please ask your PO book administrator to give you this permission. Or if you are an admin, you can make this change yourself. Simply click on your email address in the upper right corner, select Administration, and then go to the Users tab. There, you can edit your own profile and check the box Can Amend. Going back to your PO, please click on the plus button and confirm your intention to amend. This will bring you back to the interface where you usually create purchase orders. You can either add new items, edit the existing ones, or modify the department, supplier, or component information. After finalizing the amended PO, you will see that the system has kept the original purchase order ID, but added a revision number. Some purchase orders may need to be amended many times, if this happens, it is easy to see an overview of all the changes. Just click on the PDF button on your revised purchase order. The system will automatically merge the most recent revision and all previous versions into one document. That way, you will have the complete history of the purchase order summarized in one file. If you have further questions, please send us an email at support at digitalpurchaseorder.com or give us a call at 1-888-376-7254. We can also arrange a demo appointment with you. Simply contact us via email and we will schedule a call at your earliest convenience. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please also check our other video tutorials on the main tutorial page.